who 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 went to yeah, Jerry Krause? He got Dennis Michael Rodman. Jordan. That's the same thing as LeBron Michael played Jordan. in the Olympics with Chris Bosh and, and Wade and decided to join up. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, what is that? Oh, the only Chris. difference is they had to, they had to figure no. out how to get the ball in there. Oh, that was Thank you. Wait, wait. That was who, who, you said you said who who convinced uh, Jerry Krause? Michael Jordan. Scotty Pippen and Phil Jackson showed up to Jerry Krause's house to meet up with Dennis Rodman to explain to them that we want Dennis Rodman on the team. He wanted to make sure that Dennis Rodman being added to the Chicago Bulls was not going to be a problem. And the only way to ensure that is to get the leaders of your squad, which is Phil Jackson, Michael Jordan, and Scotty Pippen together to all sit down and figure out a way to make it done. Once they did that done, they traded for they traded Dennis Rodman for Will Purdue. Well, Steve, you can take that one or two ways because when I came to Chicago Bulls, people didn't know what to expect from me. You know, I'm coming in, you know, kind of hot, you know, because San Antonio just just got rid of me for, for pretty much for nobody. We'll produce straight up. And I'm like, what the hell is this all about? Another player that the Chicago Bulls got in the first round during those early years when they would scrub teams. And that's, and I mean, again, Jerry Krause's brilliance is, 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 is always there. But Michael Jordan was <laughs> recruiting the whole 95 summer, not just for Rodman, but whoever he could add to the Chicago Bulls, whoever it was. He wanted more help. That's it. Simple and plain. In the summer of 1995, Michael Jordan was on a recruiting campaign. He even sat for over an hour for Jason Williams, telling him how he just needed a rebounder to win more championships. Is that a factual thing? I will take that. That, assumption? that is a factual thing. So you're saying that for a fact that Jordan recruited Dennis Rodman? For a fact that Michael Jordan recruited Dennis Rodman. Oh, wait, I'm going to tell facts. Michael Jordan told Jason Williams, I am looking for a rebounder. I need a power forward rebounder. I, I said I, Dennis I, Rodman now. That, that's, isn't that what Dennis Rodman is? He did not recruit Dennis Rodman. I'm telling Thank you, he you, did man. because he was looking for a very rebounding power forward. All right, Ralph, who, who, who you think recruited Dennis Robin? Just Kraus? Origin, no, Kraus was against it. It was his assistant so that convinced him. Now, what Ralph is quoting is Dennis Rodman at his Hall of Fame speech where he talked about how he ended up being on the Chicago Bulls. He also mentioned how Jerry Krause's assistant was one of the main people that helped Dennis Rodman become a Chicago Bull. What happened when it came out of Dennis Rodman's mouth. I just mad because he, he went to and got better results in his recruitment than LeBron. That's all. That's what y'all he, upset. <laughs> he went to Jerry Krause's house. Jordan, <laughs> Phil Jackson, and Scottie Pippen was there. Phil said out his mouth that he spoke to he spoke to Rodman and say, in order for this to work, you have to go to Scotty to apologize. apologize. That is word from word from the people that were actually there. And I'm gonna believe that over the speculations that you have. Okay, again, you, you guys don't don't like this word, but you are going to be exposed. I never got involved with the uh, front office at all. You know, uh, when Phil Jackson, Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan asked me to come to Jerry Cross's house, uh, when Phil Jackson, Scottie Pippen, Michael Jordan asked me to come to Jerry Cross's house. Uh, when Phil Jackson, Scottie Pippen, Michael Jordan asked me to come to Jerry Cross's house. When Michael Jordan asked me to come to Jerry Cross's house. When Michael Jordan asked me to come to Jerry Cross's house. And asked me, did I want to join the Chicago Bulls? And I said, I don't give a damn. Pretty much. You know, and uh, I think that... Uh, I think it was something in the um, sense where <clears throat> I think we talked about this a long time ago, where I, you know I had to go say you know I had to go apologize to Scotty, which it was right or wrong, but pretty much uh, after that all happened, the team formed with me and Michael Scotty and and um, and um, and um, MJ. The team formed with me and Michael Scotty and and um, and um, and um, MJ. MJ. Because I want to tell you this, because Dennis Rodman said what I said. The same person no, you're no, using? He yes, he, yes, he did. I gave you the article. They quoted Dennis Rodman in the interview. So now that we have proven Michael Jordan was not only on a recruitment trip, he was recruiting Dennis Rodman and other players to come to the Chicago Bulls. Here is a photograph of Michael Jordan and other players, including Dennis Rodman, at the 95 Space Jam Dome. This is where Michael Jordan and Dennis Rodman and other players discuss about playing on the Chicago Bulls. After spending weeks with Michael Jordan, 
Dennis Rodman ended up demanding a trade out of San Antonio Spurs. Now, everybody's going to say that there is no proof of any of this, but there is no proof of the 2008 supposed meeting of Dwayne Wade, Bosch, and LeBron. All we have is them playing on the Olympic team. What we're trying to say, you guys, is that no one, no one discredit Michael Jordan for having that So we're that saying the same of, thing. No, you're not. You're saying that LeBron James went and got better players than Jordan did. He did it. He went and got players that, first of all, and, and, and 2008, the Wayne Way said in 2008, they never planned in the Olympics. He said that. He said, yo, he said, we wish we were that smart. Quote, quote for quote. I got the, I'm going to send the video. No, and I'm wait, post it. Bro, I never thought we was going to play together. Like it, it never crossed my mind. Yeah. Like playing in the All Star games or playing in summer games or playing in the Olympics, that's one thing. Right. Mm -hmm. But playing in the NBA season together, that's all that's 82. That's way different. Like, you know how hard that is to think about playing with another ball dominant guy? Yeah. Another ball dominant guy. Yep. Right. Um, it wasn't as many shots as it is now. The pace wasn't the same as it is now. Yeah. So it, it looked even, you know, harder to even think that. And yeah. So it was nothing that was on my mind until free agency right. and 2010. Um, you know, when we went, when we started going through the process of free agency, it was nothing on my mind until then about even playing together. A lot of people think like we came up with it. I wish we were this smart. A lot of people <laughs> think we came up with this plan. Like, you know what I'm saying? We were building it from 04 to 08. And right. we, you know, put it out in 08. Like, we weren't that smart, man. We're, yeah, you know, you we're like, no, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to kick his ass. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks for the credit, but uh, Wayne Wade said it specifically. He said that in 2008, they they, they never talked about that. <laughs>